Hello everyone, welcome back to Intro to Tuba by Tuba Thoughts. I'm Drew and today we're going to be taking a look at the D-flat scale. Um, now before we get started, remember that all of these fingerings are for a B-flat tuba. Now chances are if you are just starting out on tuba, 99% uh, of the time the tuba that you have is a B-flat tuba, but if you aren't 100% sure, make sure to talk to your teacher first. Um, moving into the D-flat scale, we're going to start on a D-flat, which is 2 and 3. Then we go up to E-flat, which is 1st valve. And then from E flat we go up to F, which is open. And then we go to G flat. G flat is our new note, and it's two and three. And then from G flat we're going to go up to A flat, which is one. And then B flat, which is open. And then from there we go to C, which is one. And then high D flat, this might be a new one for you, but high D flat isn't two and three again, but it's just two. So just two on the high D flat. Going back down, we're going to go back down to C, which is one and then B flat which is open and then A flat which is one and then our new note again this is G flat which is two and three down from G flat we go to F which is open and then E flat which is one and then from E flat we go back to D flat which is two and three for the arpeggio remember an arpeggio is the first third fifth and eighth note of a major scale and so for those notes, we're going to have D flat, which is 2 and 3. Then we're going to have um, F, sorry, excuse me, uh, which is open. Then A flat, which is 1. And then high D flat on top, which again is 2. Going back down, we're going to go back down to A flat, which is 1. And then F, which is open. And then D flat, which is 2 and 3. And that's the D-flat major scale. Now the nice thing about the D-flat major scale is it doesn't matter if you have a three-valve or a four-valve tuba. The fingers remain the same. Because you're not using any one and three or any one, two, and three valve combinations, you don't have to worry about using a, a fourth valve. So whether you have a three-valve tuba or a four-valve tuba, the fingers of the D-flat scale remains the same. Let's have a listen to the D-flat scale one more time. So that about wraps it up for the D-flat scale. Uh, if you like this video and found it useful, I please ask that you like it and uh, subscribe to my channel for more content. Uh, if you have any ideas for any other useful videos that you would like to see explained, uh, I encourage you to make a comment down below. Uh, I also have a Facebook page where I write lots of essays about tuba and life in general. Feel free to go check that out. But until next time, everyone, breathe deep and breathe often.